so hi hari uh, welcome to this interview thank you for taking out the time and uh, joining us and congratulations on your selection into iim ahmedabad thank you ajay thanks a lot and i would like to give thank you for this opportunity and let's hope that this reaches some people and aspirants definitely hari definitely uh, so hari uh, why don't you just uh, take us through your schooling your college and how you ended up deciding that you would want to do an mba yeah so uh, okay first of all i'll introduce myself my name is hari mohan uh, i uh, am i hail from trivandrum i was in a very studious child or anything uh, i was always fascinated by max and puppets uh, in that i wanted to become a dancer when i was growing up i joined a couple of dance troupes in my 10th and 12th but i managed to get a decent mark in both uh, so i did my engineering in the college of engineering trivandrum and uh, i graduated from there to join wipro as a vlsi engineer uh, my a bachelor's course in electronics engineering so basically it was after i joined wipro that i realized that okay i am in a career position now i am working i am earning money and uh, now i am doing this something that uh, i am spending 8 or 9 hours every day on this and i know that i have a lot of qualities lot of management qualities and lot of leadership qualities from my experiences with dance and everything else so i wanted to incorporate these qualities into my career so this is when the idea started to come in my mind and i inquired in wipro what i realized was that i had to work so hard for around 6 to 8 years to get to that managerial position so it uh, it was kind of not such a great plan so mba was definitely a shortcut i mean it's something that every gpi coach would tell that you should not tell the interviewer but uh, to be frank mba for me was a shortcut to uh, include these qualities into my career so this is when i de- decided to give cat it was in around february 2019 that i decided to give cat uh, it was my first attempt in cat um so another major motivation for this was that uh, during my college life i had visited the iim kolkata and the iim bangalore campuses for their intercultural fest and these campuses are just superb these are the best campuses i have ever seen it's like living in a resort and i was just thinking uh, these management graduates they are getting to live two years in a resort while studying i mean that's just fabulous and i would give anything to get into one of these campuses this was my major agenda so my dream colleges were actually i am kolkata and i am bangalore uh, these were my preferences over i am ahmedabad in the initial stage before i knew all the rankings and everything else so this is how it all started uh, and after this i joined time kitchen um, and started to give all the moves this went a lot of classes so uh, the classes were actually pretty cool it's like uh, or ten standard all over again because the kind of things that they teach the concepts that they teach were kind of elementary it was kind of easy for us but then i gave my first mock and uh, me as a person who loved max uh, loved quant uh, loved the sessions in quant and then i gave the mock my uh, marks in quant was 16 out of 104 102 uh, which is uh, i don't know i i don't even remember the percentage it was horrible and this actually blew my mind it went all over me because all the concepts i, I know from the quant syllabus and yet i couldn't get a decent score i mean let's take this time speed distance for example it has just one equation distance is equal to speed into time from this equation you should see the questions that these professors and all are making it's kind of incredible so this made me a lot of uh, excited about quant and i wanted to get everything about quant so this was a major motivation to learn further and uh, yeah so i decided started to give mocks mocks were actually going pretty good but i wanted to uh, nail quant because i was a max enthusiast so what i did for this particularly was this and this would be my first tip for any aspirant that seeing this uh, i took uh, i had 6 months to cat and i took 3 months out of it the uh, completely for quant in these three months i prepared only quant and i did all the mocks uh, in this time but again i did quant what i did was i had this material from time uh, there were three books and there were 25 26 chapters so what i did was i took three uh, days for each chapter and i solved 100 questions from these chapters so after three months i have done 100 questions from all the topics in cat so what happened after this was when i did a mock i see a question i am sure that i have seen this question somewhere but i am it's, it's true that i don't know how to solve this question i have seen this question so i start the uh, the generic method and i realized that i won't be able to reach the answer and then i remembered okay i tried this method then and again i couldn't reach it then and then somehow the method will come to me this started to be uh, something that happened in mocks and after these 3 months my mock my quant mocks were superb i 
you should score very good marks and my overall also boosted and this even further motivated me for get that higher percentile and successfully crack cat so my first tip for this assessment would be to spend a lot of time on quant because uh, i know many people who are very smart who gave cat uh, without any preparation i mean those these are the very smart guys they got the 98 percentile but they got only the 98 percentile because of quant vrc and dalr is something we see every day but quant we need practice to get to that 99 percentile so take take some time for quant um, another thing would be yes uh, this is very important uh, so one when one prepares one when, when one decides to write cat uh, he will give, uh, give a few sessions he will write a few mocks and then what he has in mind is his profile the immediate thing that he'll do is he'll write down his profile he'll go to all the iim pages he'll look at their admission policy and he will check uh, which all iims do i have a shot at he'll look at all the recent trends he will look at last year trends and he will find that okay i need uh at least a 99.99 percentile to get into this college and get worried about it and you you are just losing your time uh and being very frank because i was in the same position i figured out that i am bangalore is never going to give me a call and i was very sad about that and i just kept on looking at the equations and i figured that i need 100 percentile to get the iimb call and i just left that after a week and continued with my preparation towards the end i didn't get up i am bangalore call i filed an rta to know uh, how i missed and i missed my 0.4 marks that is like uh, five marks in cat if i had scored five marks more in cat i would have got a call from i am bangalore so your calculations during this time regarding admission it's all wrong it changes every year you are you are simply wasting your time calculating your profile and your percentile relations so don't do that <laughs> that's my second tip um then again my third tip would be to uh, basically when you are preparing for cat you uh, need a strategy to approach cat i mean cat is a time bomb it you have one hour of each of the sections and you are uh, figuring out this bomb so you have the, you are in that kind of a stressful situation and you are the one who knows uh, like you can find a lot of strategies if you can if you ask ask me i will say some strategy to you regarding darc quant and dlr i wouldn't say you should use these strategies because you are the one who best knows your speed your caliber your vocabulary your comprehension skills everything you are the one who best knows yourself so take a lot of mocks do a lot of experiments and find that perfect strategy i was a person who started taking mocks in june i have taken around 30 35 mocks maybe and i would say i got my perfect quant strategy in november that is the last month and my perfect dlr strategy in towards november end just before cat and i have still still haven't figured out a strategy for varc uh, but still this is something you have to keep in mind strategy is the most important thing and the thing you can prepare is quant so this is how my preparation went and uh, towards the middle it wasn't about the iams i mean i'm sure this you will reach this position towards october maybe cat is not about getting the iam course it's about getting a great percentile it's about uh, proving your mark among the other aspirants you have you proving your mark proving your hard work at this particular instance so just the only aim should be to do your best at cat and the iams will come grab you you don't have to put chase define behind these iams just get a great percentile and the top iams will come uh, get, take you away this must be something that you have to keep in mind so yeah that's about my cat situation uh, so hari uh, then uh, you got a good uh, cat percentile and then you got a call from uh, some of the top iams so how did you start preparing for your uh, wat and personal interviews yes so uh, okay this is something i i wanted to say before don't uh, think about the interviews when you are preparing for cat i mean i would say when i uh, in november that is after giving cat i was the kind of person who knew uh, only two ministers two central ministers in india i knew uh, narendra modi and amit shah these are the only people i knew and uh, maybe i knew the president that's it i was very bad at gk very bad at current affairs and after a cad you will get the key and you will figure out uh, how much you got so that's all good and then you know that you will get a call so you wanted to prepare what i did was i joined an online uh, gdpa course uh, they were called prepson and uh, they what they did was they had a facebook group and a whatsapp group they shared a lot of articles and sessions and they were very helpful to be frank i mean they gave a lot of online interviews i was always skeptical about these online interviews because i wanted to know uh, whether they would be able to do justify my uh, personality and all 
so and after giving these online interviews i would say my improvement was <laughs> really good so i would say prepson was the one who uh, helped me get through the wat and pi uh for wat we have this particular strategies i mean i'm sure uh, everyone would reach that there is uh, i don't remember the names there was way uh, spelled there were particular strategies that almost every cat aspirant would know by that time uh that's all actually pretty chill um, but you should realize that uh, cat is the elimination process i mean what happens in cat is there are two lakh aspirants and everyone wants to do an mba the iim so the other grade b schools they can't uh, interview all the aspirants so cat is the elimination process they are eliminating 90% of the students by cat so uh, completely concentrate on cat and after cat you can come to the interview process again interview process is not at all easy uh, because uh, cat is a competition between 2 lakh people but interview process is a competition between 1000 uh, 5000 people who are very good they are all excellent guys so you have to be among the top in this particular list is very difficult so uh, there are many strategies that i used uh, mm, i gave a lot of interviews uh, i okay so basically about interviews i would like to say is there is a very generic question by mba by mba is a question that you have to answer in every interview mainly so you can google this you can find many answers many generic answers let's say career growth uh, we'll see uh, a lot of uh, answers uh, tips like that but i believe that what a ympa answer should do it a ympa answer question will be asked in the first minute of your interview you will complete it by the second minute your interviews will not be impressed they will hear your ympa that's it now they'll uh, further uh, counter these questions they will have a few follow up questions on your ympa they will try to get your personality now they will find out whether you are genuine or not you said something in your ympa now they know your personality they know your history if the dots connect They, that this is when your interview was good in the first 10 minutes so your ymp is totally up to you uh, you have to take out every event that happened in your life uh, every event that uh, molded your personality and you should involve everything of this into your ymp and in in your introduction your interviewer must find how genuine you are and uh, in the beginning i said that mba was a shortcut for me uh, to get a, a better career and to be frank in my ymba i never mentioned this in my uh, any of the answers i did mention this but actually in my am ahmedabad interview uh, i was asked by ymba and i gave this answer i needed uh, i i needed to work around 8 years to get uh, a promotion or something so it's like that so the interviewer his tone changed actually his expressions changed he asked me so mba is a shortcut for you this is my am ahmedabad interview <laughs> mba is a shortcut for you and i just said i just smiled and said yes sir mba i want to do that this is why i am doing an mba the interviewers just looked at each other they smiled and they said at least he was honest my i am ahmedabad interview was a very uh, uh, very quick uh, interview it was a very impressive interview but i would say this one thing is what got me to i am ahmedabad you have to be honest throughout your interview you should not lie in, lie about everything because these interviewers they have an experience of around 10 20 years they have been interviewing uh, thousands of candidates they know uh, a person when they lie when they are not genuine and these guys are looking for genuine people so this is something that you must keep in mind when you are doing your interviews and gd what were some of the kind of mentors that you had or your seniors uh, who you were receiving help from uh, how how you are able to sometimes because sometimes you will have the self doubt whether you will be able to do it this year or whether you will be able to get into a good institute so uh, who were some of the people that were uh, your guiding forces so uh, like ajay like uh, like you said in the beginning we want people uh, we know who cracked into iims that's our major motivation so i was in this particular dance team and we had a senior he didn't study at all in his college he was all about partying and everything he made it into iim kori kod so i asked him how did how did you get into iim kori kod and he was like he explained this process to me and that was a major motivation if one of the people we know cracked into these colleges then that's a major motivation so this is how it all started uh, his name was nipun he got into iim koiko and uh, for preparing cat i had a peer her name was aishwarya uh, we started preparing for cat together and uh, she was in bangalore i was in kochi we used to call up and uh, discuss all the sessions and classes and that really helped even on all the mocks when i was better than her i uh, consoled her and vice versa there were a lot of motivation and to have a perfect peer group is amazing to have a peer who is equally 
addicted towards cat like you is just amazing and even in time there was a faculty her name was lakshmi ma'am uh, she was a varc faculty and i was someone who was very weak in varc and she just adopted me she knew that i was good in content dlr and she wanted my varc was to improve my varc to be frank my varc was in the 60s and 70 percentiles in september i had 3 months to get and i had a horrible varc this was actually a very disturbing i tried a lot and i contacted a lot with her we had a lot of sessions and i somehow got it up to the 80th percentile towards november so during my cat it was all just somehow clear varc and just rock your lda and con this was the only strategy that i had and even for cat 2019 um, varc was very difficult so i was very very worried but there is another tip here uh, in on the penultimate day of cat uh, i am code code had released a video and in this video one of the students uh, had they saying their experiences about cat and one of the students said that you must take cat as three different papers this actually struck me because uh, it was on the penultimate day and i was like thinking of okay, yes i'm sure like cat is three papers one paper test your english one paper test your uh, logics and puzzles one paper test your max so this is the mindset that you must have and in my cat uh it was a very difficult varc we knew that and after reading the first rc i my head started to <laughs> roll and everything so i just uh, did the number of attempts that is required to uh, clear the section and just went on with it and after varc there was dilr i was someone who was very good in dilr uh, but uh, in this particular cat my dilr was uh, not so good i underperformed so badly uh, my first 10 minutes when uh, i didn't i chose the wrong set and again i thought okay uh, 50 minutes there are 50 minutes left i will uh, try to catch up again i chose another wrong set and i started to sweat everything was uh, going out and to top all of that uh, with 20 minutes left the power went out in my cat test center <laughs> that was amazing and then what we did was I, actually we, we expect some kind of panic when this happens right but what everyone did was uh, we had papers when we wrote the power had went off but the you know, cpus were working with a ups so the monitors were still running everyone took their papers and they pointed to the monitors everyone stood up and started solving and this was around everywhere in the test center and this was actually kind of funny <laughs> that kind of brought my mood up and in the last 20 minutes i could solve three sets in till that time i solved only one set and in the last 20 minutes i solved three sets you have to the thing is you have to stay cool throughout the process uh, whatsoever that's when you start thinking fresh so after my dilr i knew that i had underperformed in my dilr i had a very bad varc and i probably might have to repeat everything every negativity was getting to me so this is when i realized that the i should take cat as three different papers so i just you know thought chod do i'll do quant i started doing quant i uh, did quant for around 55 minutes and the last 5 minutes i went back to my negative state and i just went all moody i got out of the cat test center and went home when the key was out i had scored a 42 in my varc this was in the 90th percentile i was very happy uh, this was my aim <laughs> in dilr i had scored 43 i said theek hai it is in the 98th percentile it's not that great but again it's so my total was in 87 and after that uh, i when i started to do uh, look at my quant i had got almost every question right i had attempted two questions i got 89 of them right i got scored 86 marks in my quant that totally boosted my cat and got my uh, total score to 173 which was which i ended up to be 99.64 percentile so the basic point is that one section can uh, completely boost your cat can change your cat so you should never get down when a section goes bad or uh, uh, anything like that happens just give your best in each of the sections individually don't let any other section affect your current section and go in that manner so this is something i'll definitely say uh again after the cat process there were the prep zone mentors uh, like the one the online gdpa coaching center that i said these mentors were just amazing they were all i am uh, graduates and uh, they were started this as a i think they started this as a non profitable institute because they are not asking for a lot of money for this preparation and they were all very keen they were just behind us they uh, they kept on asking us did you prepare today did you do anything today did you read this did you read that and we were like okay okay sir i'll do it in 5 minutes it, it was very good i mean they made us feel very serious they made us realize how important this interview was and how important this interview is going to be in our lives so there were two mentors shubham sir and prashant sir from prep zone who i dedicate all my converts to they are the reasons why uh, i would have probably been the worst one in the 99th percentile 
and these are the guys who brought me up from there so i dedicate my i am ahmedabad and my calcutta converts to these people they were just amazing yeah so these are the mentors that i had yeah hari i think you brought in very important points like the importance of having mentors and having a strong peer group because you know uh, the same difficulty if you are uh, talking to someone who is going through the same journey who is going going through the same difficulties or pains as you you will be able to uh, relate to them better and you will be able to come out of it uh, much uh, quicker uh, so hari uh, i mean you have shared some pretty good uh, insights which would definitely be helpful to someone who is uh, preparing a uh, one thing was that uh, you tried to start preparing for your vat and pi a bit early even before your cat results were out because that really helps because like you told it's very difficult to uh, know all the current affairs which happened in the last one year and it's part of your personality personal yes. interview is basically part of your personality but then for the wat you actually need to uh, know a lot of things so that i mean it's just to improve upon the chances of writing your wat better because there you might have prepared a lot but then there might be topic which is something out of the blue but then still yeah. having the preparation starting early is important so what would your advice to be someone who is uh, right now going to give cat 2020 uh, would it be better if they are parallelly allotting sometime every week for their wat and pi or sometime uh, i mean sometime during the day maybe 15 20 minutes uh, for their vat pi how would that make a difference from your experience just uh, share them a few uh, pointers yeah yeah so uh, yeah i wouldn't say that you should parallelly prepare for wat and pa because wat pa preparation and cat preparation you can't just isolate them they are not mutually exclusive i mean for varc what you should do is to read the particles i mean i was a person who just uh, totally did rcs to improve my var that was a wrong strategy i mean we should see i mean uh, during those 6 7 months whatever i read had five questions following that are that particular passage whatever i read this was the only reading mind that i had i mean that shouldn't be ideally you should read up a lot of articles you should understand the essence of it so you can what you can do is you can read the hindu editorials you can read ken you can read mint you can read all these articles about the current affairs and you can increase your vocabulary you can increase your reading speed this will definitely improve your var this is something that i didn't do but i would definitely say you should do this uh, to improve your var and also for your interviews if you do this then you are ahead of many people when it reaches the interview stage so this is how you should improve your var and basically this improves your wat your gd skills your soft skills and everything so yeah this would be my uh, personal advice you should uh, maybe uh, subscribe to the hindu online uh, that app hindu app and uh, maybe articles like that which will cover cover current affairs and also improve your varc uh okay hari uh, thank you hari i think you have been very candid in sharing all your experiences and uh, definitely someone who is thinking that uh, uh, they are bad at one section and that would definitely uh, be hampering their sessions i think your story definitely helps them out even if you are having weaknesses make sure that you are banking on your strengths improving up on your strengths and don't let one section affect the other ones try to be good at them as well but then make sure your strength is actually the one which is making the true difference yes exactly thank you and thank another you. thing uh, that i'd like yeah, to say is uh, uh, this journey the cat journey is never an easy one uh, but i wouldn't say it's a very difficult journey i mean it has its ups and downs in these mocks maybe maybe one mock you will be scoring at the 95th percentile the next mock you will be scoring the 85th percentile so every weekend will be either depressed or uh, the happy weekend and it was very bad for me i mean i ate up a lot i gained around 15 kg during my cat journey so it's never going to be an easy one but just have someone to have a mentor have someone to constantly keep you motivated have have been that perfect peer group have a perfect mentor these people are very important it's not just about the preparation and everything you should have that kind of a network to get successful i'm sure that everyone who cracked cat will have at least one person like that who kept on saying no worries bro you can score better next time you will do better in cat uh, to consistently motivate you so have someone like that and uh, all the best for cat and i hope to see some of you in i am ahmedabad or maybe in the other i am festivals maybe <laughs> uh, thank you hari thank you definitely these uh, i mean these pointers that you have given and some of the uh, stories about yourself that you have shared would definitely be helpful uh, to the future aspirants thank you hari thanks a lot Thanks a lot Ajay and have a good day hope you're safe thank you <laughs>